It's already got us so much done to What's it. up, everyone? You are on the Seek on the Speed 252 show. Scroll down, click that subscribe button, become part of this awesome community. Let's go! Alrighty, everyone. The International Motor Racing Research Center is giving away its first ever electric 5 2024 Corbett E Ray convertible, all wheel drive, and a powerful 6.2 V8 engine. This giveaway expires in six days. For you being a Seagoner Speed 252 member, subscriber, viewer of this channel, you get 40% bonus entries on your money. Yes, you heard correctly. 40% more on your ticket purchases, but you better act fast as this giveaway is expiring in six days. Get your tickets while they last. The way to get your tickets are by clicking the link down in my description or clicking the link in my pinned comment section. When you click the link, go to Donate Now to enter. You will see C Garner as my code that will get you the discount. Click on whatever ticket that works best for you. Obviously, the more tickets you buy, the more interest you have in this awesome drawing to win this 2024 Corvette E-Ray all-wheel drive. You type in your information, and then you go over there and click Continue, and you just purchase your tickets for your opportunity to win your brand new 2024 Corvette E-Ray and good luck. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the episode of Seek on the Speed 2, 5 and the 2. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave your comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. And as you guys can see, we got Robert standing in front of us in between two beautiful Grand Sports, but he's going to talk about one of them. Robert, let's go. Yeah, ironically, very similar. Obviously that one's got black interior, this has red interior. They both have a bunch of custom ads. As you can see, they both have stage three fronts. One has the ACS, one has the stock. Little differences, but we're gonna focus on this one because this one's got a lot more to show that looks cool on camera, so let's go through it. We've talked in previous videos about, you know, taking a Corvette and making it yours. You know, you don't have to stick stock if you don't want to, and this is a classic example. So right off the bat, let's go into this. This is a 2017 2LT Grand Sport Coupe with the Heritage Package. It is a non-Z07, but Previous owner, right from the front, you can tell he's added the stage three front canyards on it. It does have, um, this is all ACS. The build sheet has it as a stage one configuration, so we added the stage two ACS front splitter. If you look at an OEM one, you can tell it's a little, little more squared off, a little shorter than the OEM, so that's how you can tell it's aftermarket. It is made by ACS, which is a very good product. I love ACS. Yeah, ACS makes a good thing. However, the Hood stinger stripe, that is factory, so this is factory. The whole front has been clear broad, so that's why it's got a real glossy look. But the, it is cut, so everybody says, well, does the clear ball hurt it? No, because it is cut, so if you need to do sections, you can. But let's pop the hood and check this bad boy out. Let you see under here. Woo look at that. So you got some custom valve covers. You got this faux carbon fiber over the... Um, center uh, throttle body there and you've got all these red accents and of course you have an information plate there which again goes perfect for car show showing you even got the dipstick custom painted over there by the dry sump reservoir wow and um and of course it, you know you got that painted white you got this mounted up into the insulation there i mean it's just amazing i mean this car is already car show ready exactly you just exactly. got to bring it you know, so, and sometimes you get things like that, you know. Again, everybody wants to make a car of theirs, but, you know, if you want one that's already got a, so much done to it, I mean, you got such a jump start, you know. I mean, right off the bat, boom. I mean, what more to do? <laughs> wow. Sky's the limit. I didn't realize he had all that, too. Yep. Yeah, he's got these pieces. And, again, some of these are orderable. Some of them may be custom. I know you can order these caps online. I've seen these, and but again, they look good, fit the car well. And it's pretty clean under here. Yeah, exactly. You can tell it's been garage kept, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. As I mentioned, the whole front's been clear broad, so I mean, that definitely helps protect your paint. Oh, you already got that on there. Automatic manual? It is an automatic. Uh, following this is the ACS, uh, as I understand it, the 7VM style. So this does that C8 style add-on. That kind of gives it that bowed add-on fin effect. Follows the back. 
He's got these inserts. I've seen these before. You know, they talk about rings and keys damaging, you know, when you put your finger in here to open the door and you got this carbon fiber or faux carbon fiber piece. And then you want to come around here to the side. I'll show you the inside. You see he's got a custom steering wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's real nice. Still got the, you know, the factory airbag for safety. But, you know, this is custom. It's got the red LED accent lighting with the Lloyd mats. Oh. So that all looks really good. And if you turn to the back there, you see he's got the full waterfall with the storage compartment. Oh, he does. And he does have that uh, windscreen shield there. Wow. Which, of course, has the Grand Sport X exiting badge. In it, or I should say embossing. So nifty little add-ons. He's also, you know, did some dressing here and there, but it doesn't end there. Coming to the back, it's he's got the ACS style stage two wickers. Wicker. And you say, how do you tell ACS from factory? See my fingers? See about two fingers tall? See how it's a little shorter? Right. If you got an OEM one, see this is an OEM one. See? Hides it. Oh it's, wow. They're taller. That's OEM. ACS, they went a little shorter. I or some why. people. Well, one, probably patent restrictions. You know, remember, you got to patent it, make sure. it your own. And two, you know, do you want to just copy factory or do you want to try something different? Some people like maybe, ah, it's too too big, too prominent. Right. Here's something, a different option. Here, let's go. It's a little shorter, still has functional downforce, but, you know, it doesn't look so tall. So, True. so again, this is a look that some people may like, and I think it goes well with the car. He's also got the uh, body extenders, which... Some reviewers may remember Mike had that on uh, Blue Fury, his old Z06. Oh, yeah. Also had the ACS uh, diffuser fins that have been added. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so no longer just a reflector. He's also got the uh, aftermarket LEDs for the marker lights, too. Oh, yeah. Those just look so much better than factory. Wow. This guy and did it up. Do you see this? Oh. Look at this. He's got LEDs in here illuminating. This vent, he's got LEDs also illuminating the area the around the exhaust. Yeah, this car is absolutely car show ready. You just got to buy it and pull up. Exactly. And know how to use the functions that comes with the car. Yep. And, of course, he's got dark tinting, which of course with the white car looks excellent with all the black badging, or I should say carbon flash badging. But now he did have these door sill guards. We pulled them off, but the Velcro is still in place. So you can hook them back on again. Gotcha. He's got the original window stickers copies order from the museum they're in here and look at this bay it's clean now he's got it to where if you're just opening and the car is off it only lights up the back side and of course here the standard lights that have been changed to red if you start the car you open it up this illuminates red and so does all these other lighting and it just illuminates the whole compartment here wow in red finish he's also got the paragon corvette struts wow so yeah, Jeez. what a nice car. Well, yeah, absolutely right. And look at it. It's priced at the same point as uh, pretty much standard Grand Sport yeah. 2 LT for this market. So you're getting all this extra. Now again, you say, well, the guy made this investment, you don't get it back. Well, you know, cars are labors of love. But in this case, you know, super clean and the next person gets to inherit this beauty. Yeah, so. absolutely. Robert, you showed us an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, Grand Sport, man, I cannot thank you enough. Let us come in and take a look. Absolutely. At these I mean, again, if anything, if you already have one, here's here's your inspiration. I mean, look what you can do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's so much out there you can do and cookie cutter it your way you want it and make your car yours. Absolutely. And again, mechanically, bone stock. Again, the only major cosmetic change really as far as anything that would affect anything OEM is the steering wheel, which again, it's a steering wheel. It's steering, yeah. You can always change them out. So. Absolutely. All the rest of this, you know, is add-ons, you know, and they're good add-ons. They're, you know, it's functional. Functional, yeah. ACS is a good product, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, Robert, so. man, I cannot thank you enough for showing this awesome car. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and definitely hit that subscribe button anywhere on your phone screen or tablet. And if you're looking for a beautiful Corvette, come in and check out my man Robert over here.